it's always just nice to be aware of um, how you know, you're sitting, you're because, yeah, I mean, oftentimes, I mean, I don't know if you're like me, you kind of just plop down and like, man, eh, I'll just. So there can be ways, um, well, so many ways that we can um, sit intentionally. This is mostly about um, being in a pose where you feel comfortable. And I'll call it, I don't even want to say like your spine is upright or. You know, it, but it is a position where you feel kind of more spacious and open. Maybe that, you know, how gravity can kind of push you down. Like maybe there's a little bit of that uplifting. Um, even if you do attend this class where you're, um, you know, a little more, more reclined back in a chair, like you can kind of still bring energy in. And that energy too is like a, a mental brightness. So we say like the mind is upright. Um, you know, when you take attendance and you say like, who's here? And you say, present, <laughs> you know, like, well, are you really present? And that's kind of a lot of the work that we're doing here. Like, are you even here for your life? So it's nice to do then this kind of formal time of Really checking that out like uh, am I actually here maybe I'm not ha most of the time so when we start just by grounding then feeling the body there there is kind of a, a ground you know that you're settling down and then there's a balance with the up And then if it feels okay, you'll just close your eyes. So we call this like our kind of pre-meditation arrival practice. I think of it like, you know, if I wish to experience a state of being at peace, I kind of have to like amend the soil a little bit. Like, um... It's got to be like healthy soil to plant these seeds. And then if your eyes are closed, you could take like a few deeper breaths. It's good to take like three, four, or even five of these breaths. It might feel when you're doing this like a, a great way kind of a tool you can use to just feel like you're slowing down because we often move at a velocity you know that's like going 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 and we don't even realize it until we take these deeper breaths and we can the more you breathe, the more you feel into your body or feel into this moment. Still arriving here. And if it's okay, then the body is still. Just motionless. Practicing being still. And what it feels like to stop knowing I'm stopping. Even if, let's say, if, if you want to play with this, Allow the body to do a little bit of a rocking action. You know, that rocking where you go like a little forward, a little back. And it's almost like the rocking is helping you ground or 
it might help you feel your body here. And sometimes this just feels soothing in the very same way that we might like rock a child. You know, I, I can remember rocking my daughter and it was like, can't tell if this is soothing her more or soothing me. <laughs> um, it's good just to experiment. So part of arriving here is then even a, a mental choice of putting everything down. I'm going to practice just putting everything down for now. And of course, you can continue the rocking if it, sometimes the rocking in its own time comes back to stillness. But let this be just very organic. And bring awareness way down to your belly. And in the belly, um, there might be a, like a belly breath. And you can just feel you're kind of breathing down to your navel. Feeling into that space. So for bringing awareness to the present, you could notice, well, what's happening presently? There's a lot of stuff we typically overlook. What sounds do you hear right now? Are there any sounds that are way far away? And you're aware, oh, my ears are hearing sounds. Or you might notice the space that you're in, like the temperature of the room that you're in, the feeling of the air, your skin can sense the temperature, and then your skin can sense the feeling like of your clothes, your clothes are keeping you warm. How do your clothes feel? And we probably all know that we can be sensitive really to how, what we wear, everyone is different, like what feels comfortable. That's good. This is wise self care. And in a way, still kind of like pre-meditation, we're noticing just our, like our energy. Like how do you feel today? Are you like kind of 
um, jittery or and you can't settle down? Or is, is your energy really low? You might notice your mood. Notice your attitude. And then in the body, there's a sense of relaxing. At the same time, there's the energy of uprightness. In the uprightness, you explore in your own way the physical body opening. And then the relaxed quality could be like the inside of your mouth relaxing. Or your throat relaxing. And how relaxing doesn't lead to sleepiness. It just leads to that initial release of tension. You might go back to feeling your feet or your seat, like whatever is touching the earth is grounding. You can create this space in the body. Again, possibly just the space in your mouth or space around your brain. And how thoughts just come and go. Now, when we hear the sound of the bell, <clears throat> it's good to remember that the bell is always just calling us back. It's, yeah, it's like a really kind teacher saying, honey, you know, you're, you've wandered, just come back. Um, 
And the bell also is, um, it's almost like it's neither a beginning or an ending. You know, it's just present. It's just coming back, coming back. Um, so I'm just going to share, I'm going to move into just a little bit of a teaching that we'll then practice or take into consideration when we're doing this work, when we have this, <clears throat> I'm just ongoing deepening of this understanding of like why we do this work, you know, why would we stop and, and do this? And it really does build in your own your really your own reason um and i found just over the years yeah there's just no end to understanding this work and then just practicing it it's just that time of i've received the teachings and now i get to practice it so one of the um been a couple books, a couple things I've, um, some gems I've taken from a couple teachers lately. Um, so one of them is this, this teaching, this is actually, of all things from the yoga tradition, but um, it talks about the, one of the translations of these words is called coalescence. And this is, they're almost talking about what yoga is. So if we talk about yoga, sometimes that word union or yoking or coming together is used. And um, so a coalescence that they're talking about is when, especially when we're still, there's just something about stopping. Um, I think of like mud settling where we can see things clearly. You know, we're not... Um, we're kind of stepping away from all of our relationships that we're usually caught up in. We're just taking a step back to get a clear perspective. Like, am I seeing things really clearly here? Or am I caught in this one view? So we do this kind of stepping back and we see things as they are. Now, what can happen is when we stop and when we see things as they are, what can arise is how much we don't like the way that things are, you know, so that's pretty natural to come up, you know, like, Oh, I've got this issue, you know, maybe with a person, you know, and like, ah, oh, I don't like that. Or, you know, sometimes it's like that person has to change, you know, and we get really tight around this. Um, so when we step back, we just see, you know, just clearly what is happening, what's going on in a way we call this reality. Like, I'm not kidding myself, you know, I, and rather than, um, seeing things the way I want them to be, I see them as they are. And that, that takes some time. That's why we sit in meditation for a little while to see things clearly. And then the coalescence, there's kind of a second part of this though, because like I mentioned, we could see things as they are and just kind of dig in and hate it, you know, or we, through practice, we can see things as they are and be at peace with the way things are. And bear in mind that this is really just a starting point. Like it's gonna be best if I let go of any of the dislike of the way things are. That's gonna help to you know, heal that relationship to understand things clearly, and to move forward in any way. So I find even as like, 
<clears throat> both a yoga and meditation practitioner, that the stopping that we do in meditation, there's basically no replacement for this time of formal stopping. Um, and with great, you know, compassion, sometimes it can help to do like the rocking or some kind of soothing practice because it's hard to see things as they are. There's reasons that we delude ourselves or, you know, just watch a lot of Netflix or, you know, seek entertainment. Um, so there is this kind of courage of the heart, you know, that I'm willing to see things as they are and see the wisdom in being at peace with the way things are. I mean, one, one example that can be kind of, you know, really grips our heart is things like injustice in the world. So if we're seeing things as they are, one thing that's clear is that there's injustice. And right away, we can get tight around it. Like, this shouldn't be happening. You know, these, these, these ways that we relate to this injustice. Um, or, in, yeah, in some way, just hating it. Um, so as we let things really settle, I'm certainly not saying that we need to like it. But we just get real that this is happening. And if I wish for there to be change, if I have a wish for justice, then my heart needs to be free of hating. So we get this rich experience right here um, of the, this wise starting point of being free of hating. And that, you know, is just an example. So we'll do this practice then. The other thing I've read lately is, and this has been from a couple teachers, it's just that reminder of um, a, a breathing practice or being aware of your breath flowing. Because it's, one thing we don't notice often is that we are tight and almost holding our breath. Whereas if we're aware of our breath, it kind of naturally liberates itself. I go, oh, I'm breathing and um, my breath is just flowing freely. And when the breath is flowing freely, that helps us open, stay open. So as we start our meditation now, um, I'm going to guide a couple things, whether it's the breath awareness and even a couple physical movements, okay? So go ahead and find, again, if you need to shift, we're starting, you know, we're going to move into our meditation practice and we receive the sound of the bell. This is perfect practice in my background. I hear the sound of a siren. And when we when things arise, you can notice like if there's any bristling, like a sound of a siren.
There can be these these things that we don't realize they're leading to tension. You might just notice that you are breathing. When you notice that you're breathing, you're probably feeling the breath somewhere. The movement of breath through your nostrils. And the breath is both voluntary and involuntary. So if the mind is very active, sometimes you can volunteer to take a smooth, steady, deeper breath. And you might just experiment. What does happen when I and deepen and imagine my breath moving into my whole body like the body is a giant sponge soaking in the inhale and that the squeezing out the exhale just feeling this flow or kind of a sweeping through the body. When we turn our attention to this experience of breathing, we naturally release the focus on our thoughts and our stories. So the words will decrease. I'm feeling my body. There's a sense of being open. being with the body as it is right now. This is how my body is right now. Now you also have that, like that gentle rocking practice, if that helps in some way to bring you to the present experience, feel grounded. Bringing awareness to just the skin on your face. Is your skin relaxing? OK. 
can be good to let go of any control over your breath and just letting the breath be natural. It's like the waves, like waves on a lake. They just it continues the natural waves. And then this next practice you can play with, if you wish, is just taking your hands, if it makes sense, of kind of holding one hand and doing even the smallest feeling of like a hand massage. So this means maybe you have um, you're holding your hand and you're using your thumb just to press the palm of your hand. This can be good if, if you like, if you tend to fall asleep or get sleepy when you're meditating, if you get too relaxed, it can just be soothing. Like, And it feels like you are, you know, really carrying the weight of the world. Or a lot, you're carrying a lot on your shoulders. This small little hand massage is done using your intuition. Whatever way you want to breathe as you're doing this. When we show ourselves this little amount of self-care, you know, it can help to kind of remove the thorns in our heart. Any inner hostility, which again is natural and we and we all carry it. So this practice is right now. I'm practicing being with things as they are. Putting down the dislike. Maybe switch hands if you're practicing the hand massage, which, you know, some, for some people it, it does. It kind of works, or if it doesn't work, you don't practice it. So in a way, sometimes these little movements actually help us kind of guide us into stillness. Belly, be aware of your belly, belly is soft. This quality then is where we're really free of needing to like or dislike. We're just present. We're with things as they are. And you can continue with all of these little 
uh, kind of mini practices that even the slightest amount of like the hand massage or um, sometimes even forearms, like it can feel good to just kind of a little squeeze to your forearms while breathing. Yeah, if you've ever had a massage before, it's so important to for there to be a flow of breath. And whenever it makes sense, you could just move into that completely motionless position, not moving. All that's left is the waves of the breath. Being with things just as they are. And being at peace. Relaxed. Upright, spacious, choosing even like the position of your head, you know, what ah, what brings some space around my brain or inside of your mouth? Being aware, what thoughts are coming in? What's happening in the mind right now? When thoughts come in, it's like they don't take hold. Thoughts come in and they pass. Like you have a choice whether or not to think them. And feeling my body it's good to in a circle back to what works
So at the end of our practice, it really is good to just have a simple appreciation. You know, that you took 45 minutes, you know, which you, we might agree, it's a pretty long time. You know, it's like a lot just happened. <laughs> um, to dedicate towards doing the, this work. So it's nice to just see the, the goodness of your intention and um, as they say, like no effort is lost when we, we do this work. You know, making sure there's not heavy judgment of like, man, I'm a bad meditator, you know, or any of that. Um, so it's so great to see everyone again. Um,